You are about to hear a romantic drama, Accent on Perlita, adapted from a story in Street and Smith's Love Story magazine, featuring the love story girl in the role of Perlita Ryan. This is the love story of Perlita Ryan, who for four hard years has been writing advertising copy for the Lester Advertising Agency. As our first scene opens, we find her in the office of Dick Lester, head of the agency. He has just been going over the advertisements Perlita has written for the National Auto Company account. Now, Perlita's copy is good copy, but it's more than the copy which makes Dick's face glow as he talks to her. It's Perlita herself. She's not only distinctive, she's in a class all her own. Miss Ryan... I want you to be the first to know. Adams over the National Auto Company signed this morning, and we have the account. Oh, that's swell, Mr. Lester. Let me be the first to congratulate you. Don't congratulate me. I'm not kidding myself. This copy of yours had plenty to do with bringing that $400,000 account into the Lester Advertising Agency. Oh, that's very flattering, but I think you're just trying to be nice. Not at all. Adams told me himself it was touch and go until you came through with the streamlined idea in the copy. Oh, there was nothing particularly original in that. It was now, just... Now, don't try to unsell yourself with me, because you can't do it, no matter how hard you try. <laughs> now, look, I've got another doubtful prospect, the new Mellow Coffee Company. Oh, I've used that. It's very good coffee. I've made an appointment for you with Peter Hendricks, the vice president in charge of advertising. An appointment for me? Absolutely. I want you to talk to him. Since... When have I taken over sales work? Since now. Oh. It's going to take something absolutely new and appealing to swing Hendricks away from the Elkins advertising bunch. Now, you're that something. I think you have the personality and tact necessary to handle Hendricks. But I... I've thought for some time that you're capable of handling bigger stuff than you have been. I was just waiting for the right opportunity to come along, and I think this is it. New Mellow Coffee is a $300,000 account. Oh, you make this Hendricks sound pretty tough. He is tough. I've been with him all morning. Now, here's the lowdown on mm -hmm. him. He's just been called in from the field to become vice president of New Mellow. He was down in South America in charge of production. He got results down there. And he'll get them here, too. I see. I'm afraid he won't want to give you a free hand with a copy. Mm -hmm. He has ideas of his own that he wants to use. That's really why I'm turning him over to you. You can ease him into taking our ideas and making him think they're his own. All right, Mr. Lester. Uh, when is the appointment? Tomorrow morning, 11.30. Now, here's some information on the product. I think you better have some kind of an outline ready to present to him in rough form. Mm -hmm. I'll get to work on it right away. You rang for me, Miss Ryan? Yes, have you got your book? I'm going to do some dictating. I'm ready. Headed some copy ideas for New Mellow Coffee. Under a blazing tropical sun, a white freighter slipped silently through the water, bringing a cargo up... Oh. What's the matter, Miss Mason? Didn't you get it? Uh, I... I'm afraid I didn't. I really don't know what's been the matter with you, Miss Mason. You'll have to pull yourself together. Well, I, I'm sorry. I, I'll try. All right, I'll try to do it a little slower. Now pay attention and maybe you can get it. I'd like to see Mr. Hendricks, please. I have an appointment. The name, please? Uh, Miss Ryan from the Lester Advertising Agency. Oh, yes. Mr. Hendricks is expecting you. Right in here, please. Miss Ryan? How do you do, Mr. Hendricks? Oh, won't you come in? Please sit down. Thank you. Mr. Lester spoke very highly of your work, Miss Ryan. Mm, that was very nice of him. Of course, I'm not very familiar with the new Mellow Coffee as yet, but I have a few ideas that I'd like to discuss with you. 
Go ahead. Fire away. I wrote them down. I think maybe it would be easier if you read them rather than have me try to tell you about them. Certainly. Have you them there? I'll be glad to see them. Yes, here they are. Hmm. As I see, uh, very nice, Miss Ryan. It's beautifully done. But it's pictorial only. That isn't exactly what I want. What do you want? Depth. Oh, I thought it was... Tell me exactly what you want, Mr. Hendricks, and I'll do it for you. Well, you've painted a beautiful word picture of the romance of coffee, and you've accentuated mellowness. Mm -hmm. Since the company's name is New Mellow, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. There is romance in empire building, of course, but there's infinitely more than that. Hours of back-breaking toil under blazing skies. Heat that saps the life from you. Thousands of black-skinned natives sweating on the plantations. I want a hint of that effort. I want to see... to see the honesty of coffee. I see what you mean. Uh, wait a minute. Here are some snapshots. It might help you get the idea I want. Oh, yes. Oh, these are swell. Well, Mr. Hendricks, I'll take these along. I think I'd better be getting back to the office. It's uh, getting late. As a matter of fact, I have a confession to make. I uh, tried to make the interview last as long as possible because I wanted to ask you to lunch with me. I warn you, I'm not dieting. I don't like girls who drink tea without sugar and toy with an anemic-looking salad. Oh, I'm not like that. I believe you. I think you're apparently a person of contradictions. What do you mean? Well, the way you look, for one thing. I had to look twice to make sure you were real. You look like an exquisite creation. But... You are real enough. <laughs> you don't live on watercress and ladyfingers. You... Like steaks, rare, and with all the fixings. Swell. We'll double that order. How about a large cup of coffee? Absolutely, provided it's new mellow. <laughs> oh, come along. <laughs> uh, still have it, Miss Ryan? I thought you'd gone home long ago. No, I've got to see Mr. Hendricks again tomorrow morning, and I want to get this idea worked out before I go home. Oh, you're coming with that honesty of coffee idea of Hendricks. Mm, pretty good, I think. Of course, he's nothing but a big baby, thinking the public will go for ugly facts. He doesn't seem to know very much about advertising. He doesn't seem to know that the accent these days is on glamour. But, well, I think I've dressed up the idea pretty well. Take a look at these ads. Say, these are swell. Hmm? Hendricks will eat these up. It's got everything. You've given Hendricks' ideas enough play by bringing in a thought of the effort involved in the production. You've even used his phrase, honesty of coffee, once down here. Oh, he can't help but go for it. Well, I hope he does. I've certainly worked hard enough for it for the last couple of days. Uh, by the way, Mr. Lester, I'm afraid we'll have to do something about that Mason girl. What's the matter? She's so slow, she drives me almost crazy. Well, I don't want to fire her. She supports her entire family. Perhaps I can transfer her to some other department. Well, I don't like to make complaints, but honestly, I think it would help if you can do something like that. I'm afraid she's just plain incompetent. Well, as soon as this rush is over, I'll see what can be done. In the meantime, if you put this over with Hendricks tomorrow, you're to get an extra two weeks' vacation with pay. Oh, I had incentive enough without that, but now I just can't fail. <laughs> Morning, Miss Ryan. Have you got something for me this morning? Yes, it's all here. I hope you like them. Ah, let me see them. I'm very sorry, Miss Ryan. Isn't the, isn't the material what you had in mind? No, it isn't at all what I want. Of course, you aren't to blame. You included my ideas, but only superficially. What? All this work is superficial. I don't quite understand. Well, it seems because you've brought surface glamour to a focus in your own life, you can't help doing it in your work. I had hoped, uh, but oh, well, never mind. Uh, I'll try it again, and this time, Mr. Hendricks, it'll be right. I hope so. Here's it. Here's some mail for you, Miss Ryan. Oh, thanks, Miss Mason. Just put it down there on the desk. I'll look at it later. 
What's the matter, Miss Mason? Nervous? Oh, no, Miss Ryan. Your hand shook just then. Well, I am nervous, I guess, but I, I didn't want you to notice because I need the job so badly, you see. Miss Mason, is it your eyes? Yes, I'm afraid it is. I know I've been slow, and I know I've been inefficient, but I can't see very well. Why don't you wear glasses? The right kind of glasses cost too much for a girl who has to support her parents. Oh, so that's it. Well, now, here's a check. Go see a doctor and get the right kind of glasses, and you won't know yourself afterwards. Well, it, it's awfully kind of you, Miss Ryan. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, don't try to thank me, and I'll just go on and get the glasses. Mr. Henricks over at New Mella didn't sign up, did he? No. How did you know? Seeing you sitting there for two hours after you came back, I couldn't help thinking something must have gone wrong. Those ads are good. I know they're good, but he doesn't like them. He says they're all superficial. Well, I think I see what he means. You what? You you see what he means? Why, yes. You know, you're so perfectly glamorous yourself that your copy is like that. Glamorous. Oh? But other people, Mr. Hendricks and me, I, I guess we don't think of glamour so much because we won't ever be glamorous. We think of what's beneath the glamour. That's what he meant by honesty of coffee, I think. I think you've hit it. I've been a fool building for smartness, distinction, and glamour and neglecting the foundation of them. Why, why the whole thing looks different now. Coffee is honest. Faithful brown hands tend it. Men like Hendricks gave their lives to serve it. Come on, Miss Mason, let's get to work. <laughs> Well, now we've got something. This is more like it. In fact, it's great. Oh, I'm glad you like it. We sat up all night doing it. We? My secretary and myself. You know, I was right about you. I knew you were my kind of person. I prayed you'd come through. Not only because of the company, but because of me. Of you? My dear, couldn't you guess? I love you. I've loved you from the first moment I saw you. And I love you. Darling, will you marry me? Of course, Lester will shoot me for taking his ace saleswoman, but the contract will soothe him. I'm hungry to see South America again. How about going there on our honeymoon? Of course, with the accent on glamour? With the accent on Perlita, always. have been listening to a romantic drama featuring the love story girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine.